Get ready with me like Avril Lavigne in 2010. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray paint my hair once again. I got this little pink spray. It's like 159. So we're just gonna spray line random pieces of hair. I don't know how many she does, but we're just gonna do it. Also, I straightened my hair just for this video, so subscribe. I'm also gonna do another one right here. I feel like I should do another one on the side. Like right here. Then I wanna do like one underneath. We'll do another one right here. And now add one right here in the front. All right, I think that's kind of better. My hair is greasy, but it's fine. Greasy hair kind of looks really good with straightened hair because it just looks sleek and nice. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is our eyebrows. Fun fact, last time when I did the glue on my brows, my eyebrow ended up breaking out. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see like the little pimples right there. So we're just gonna put some eyebrow things on there and just make them go away. So I'm just gonna color my brows, make them look darker because she looks like she actually has brows. So I'm just like coloring them in. Now I'm just brushing them. My Does anybody's hair get stuck on the brush? I know that's nasty, but mine hair gets stuck on it a bunch of times. We're gonna start with the base. She doesn't look like she has a bunch of foundation, so I'm just gonna cover my pimple from my nose and that's it. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of contour on my forehead, on my cheeks, on my nose, make it look small and tiny. Guys, I tried doing a video where I turned myself emo and I sprayed my whole hair with the blue hairspray that I used in my aquamarine video. My hair ended up looking so disgusting. I couldn't even brush it. This thing has alcohol, so if you do plan on doing this hair coloring thing with a spray, make sure you do it like once a month because I feel like the alcohol can really ruin your hair. She doesn't look like she has a bunch of blush, so I'm just gonna go with a little bit of this e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick and just put some on my cheeks. She doesn't have any blush on her nose, but I'm gonna still put some on because it gives you like that sick look. I don't actually know what to talk about. Um, How's your day been? My day is great. We hit 260 subscribers, which is pretty cool in my opinion. It might not be cool in your opinion, but I cannot even talk to five people in a room. Like every time I go to my best friend's house, it's only her and her brother and I can't even talk to him because I'm like, ner I'm like, my anxiety gets so high up and I don't even know why. Like with people, my anxiety is always like so high and I hate anxiety. People are like, oh my God, anxiety is so hot. But the minute you have anxiety, it's not that hot. I'm putting some clear up eye drill. So we're gonna move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm using a black crayon. And I heard that all she does is color in her eye with like the black crayon or just put like some black shadow. So that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna outline our underwater line. So I'm just gonna look in the mirror right here and just outline it like that. Same to the other eye, so just like that. And to make my eyes like a little bit darker than the shadow would, I'm just gonna color in my eye with the pencil. Just like this, same to the other eye. And I look really crazy. And now with like a brush like this, I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. So just like rubbing it down so it can smear all over the eye, just like that. And I know it looks crazy, but we're gonna go in with a black shadow as well. But this has to be like many layers because it kinda has to look like you just woke up, like a messy rock star type of look. You see now it's like kind of smoking. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Guys, when I went to the eye doctor, when they put drops in your eye, I'm not gonna lie, I was shaking. That's how bad my anxiety gets. Like I was shivering at the eye doctor place because I was like shivering, like shaking. You know when you're scared of something and you're just shivering the entire time? Yeah, that was me. You know how embarrassing that was? I felt like a child because there was children right there and the children weren't even crying or anything and I was right here shaking. Like how embarrassing is that? Anxiety is such an embarrassing thing. As somebody with anxiety. Like it's embarrassing, but you can't even control it and it sucks. Like with this one YouTuber I watch, everybody's like, oh my God, it's so cute that he has anxiety. And all of a sudden when they see him in person and he acts like he has anxiety or he has anxiety, people are like, look, he just ignored me. Like, yeah, that's kind of what anxiety is. They kind of ignore you because they're in your head too much and overthinking and just like ignoring everything and just trying to get through the day because Gosh damn it, anxiety sucks. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black shadow from this little palette. It's kind of glittery, but we're just gonna ignore it. And I'm just gonna tap it on my eye, kind of make it like a little bit matte. Go under the eye as well, and then on the other eye as well. Now I'm just gonna like smish my finger around it, just like that. And it blends it even better. Oh, I have too much black under this eye. Did I clean it? Kind of. 
I'm just gonna grab like a regular brush that has nothing on it and just smooth it out a little bit more because wow it looks messy it kind of has to look messy black eyeshadow no matter what is gonna look messy but it always looks good now I also heard that she puts a little bit of silver so I'm gonna go in with like this little silvery right here and I'm just gonna tap it on my eye and then go down to like right there same to the other eye you're wondering where I got this eyeshadow palette from it's from the 9 on store yeah I get my shadows from the 9 on store at CVS depending where they're cheap I hate how the pink disappeared I'm just gonna blend everything together the reason I'm doing this makeup look today it's literally sun Saturday and I have to hang out with my best friend and I have to shower and um, I wanted to do this hair because I wanted a shower and obviously I'm gonna wash my hair because my hair is greasy but Avril Lavigne has straight hair in the inspo pictures that I'm doing so that's why I'm doing straight hair instead of curly or wavy hair I'm gonna go back in with the crayon and just go under my eye one more time because I want it to look messy I want it to look like I slept in this look underlining your eye has to be one of the scariest things ever especially when it gets red that's when you know you're doing a good job right please tell me I'm right I'm gonna go a little bit darker with the brows because they still look like they're not even there there you go darken that shit up I'm gonna go in with a little bit more blush we'll go in with this light one right here oh I watched the movie if the one with the imaginary friends and I was like crying the entire time because it was such a cute movie and I go to TikTok because I want to see the reviews and people were like no this is sucks this is shitty this is disgusting I'm like this movie is made for kids like this isn't targeted towards 20 year olds 19 year olds 18 year olds are targeted towards 13 and under so for a 13 and under movie it's really good and it's really cute and i'm 23 and i started crying the entire movie because of how cute it was like do i recommend it yes because it's so cute like if you didn't cry you have no heart and you're stupid because that movie was so so good like it's ridiculous how good that movie was i'm gonna grab a q-tip and clean my eye a little bit because i don't know if you can see it's messy right there you know what? I was like, what am I missing in this makeup look? I'm missing mascara. The main component to make my eyes look even darker and I'm missing it. I'm gonna curl my lashes first because my lashes aren't there if I don't curl them. This mirror does not go with this makeup look. Can you see how red my eye is? That's why I don't do red liner or red, yeah, red liner or not red, black liner in my eyes. Because every time I do it, my eyes always turn red. Like I look like some, you know what I look like. I'm using the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara and just putting it on my lashes. This mascara is so good, it makes your eyelashes look so good. And I'm pretty sure it's a dupe for like one of the other high-end mascaras and it's so good. Like it's such a good mascara. And it's only $6, are you kidding me? Plus it has like a little curve that just goes up. Not sponsored, it's just a very good mascara. And if it's a good product, I'm gonna tell you. I'm doing my mascara like my mom did back in the days and she still does it. She does it like 10 times and her lashes look clumpy. But I feel like that's the look for like the 2010s. You want your mascara to kind of look clumpy and thick and like very long. I just realized my necklace was not out the entire time. That's embarrassing. The last thing I'm going to go with is a lip color and she looks like she has a natural lip. So we're just going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Slick Gloss. It's in shade Nude Mood. It's like a little white thing on the bottom. I hate when it's white because then you can't read it. We're gonna go a little bit in with powdered contour because I think my face looks like it, it disappeared. So when I do my contour is I grab some on the brush and for some reason I started putting it like this and just going up to the forehead so everything looks contoured. Put some on my nose as well. Put a little bit more blush because I need the blush. Should we go in with the dark pink one? No, huh? We'll go in with the dark red one and just smush it like on the palette. All right, I think this makeup look is done. Let me just brush my hair a little bit and add more pink strips because honestly, this looks like it needs more pink strips. I'm gonna add one right here. Like it's too light and I just realized that. We're gonna add another one right here. Oh, I look crazy. I'm gonna force my hair to brush down. Do you hear that sound? I'm gonna reset my camera because it's too bright, BRB. I added more pink to my hair and it genuinely looks so much better. So I'm gonna put you on the stand and say goodbye. All right, I sprayed more pink on my hair and I'm not gonna lie, I like it so much better look. The, like, doesn't the more pink look so much better on the hair? Let me add some over here. Like, wow, that looks so much better. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the makeup uh, complete. Did I do good? Um, I'm gonna say yes. Here's a little montage. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.